Hi. In our last video, we have seen how can we go ahead and create a process design document using Task Capture. And in the last video, we have seen a complete process of creating a, a, a process design document, uploading it into the documentation part of the automation hub. So as part of the today's video, we will proceed with the next step in automation hub with the created process or the submitted idea, which we have earlier submitted as a recruitment process automation. So let's get started. Uh, what do you ship on? Hey, thanks, Mr. Uh, very good evening to everyone. So we are on the recruitment process automation and, uh, as Mr. has explained, uh, we already got the process in place. So let's click on actions next. And the first one is we have to click on launch assessment. The moment I click on the launch assessment, it will say, are you sure you want to launch the assessment for automation? And it's positive. Yes, launch success. All right. This is what we see now. Okay. Uh, there are detailed questions that we need to uh, fill in. Okay and uh, these are the details that we need to further update okay so let's start with the edit mode now what's the automation name what's the automation id now this being my first automation so i would name it as 01 okay resume screening and capturing candidate details that's the description automation area all good what are my pain points manual intervention required for identify the means capturing data in points accuracy is Achieved as copy paste errors are observed. All the data are not captured in the are not captured. So that's it. Uh, what is the negative impact? Negative impact uh, recruitment process takes a long time when the operations require immediate resource for the ongoing projects. Okay. High level assessment uh, is already being done. So Yes, sir, we don't need to do this, right? It's yes, all good. Exactly. So yeah. Done it previously. Now, automation goal, primary reason to automate this process. For me, the primary reason to automate this process is to improve the quality, okay? More than the cost. Process changes expected in the next six months, minor change expected. Application changes accepted in the next six months, no change accepted, all right? Uh, employee profile, average working days per year. Okay, this is important. So 22 man days in a month. So that would be 365 into 22. Let me just calculate this for you. Uh, sorry, add that one. 22 into 12. I'm counting this uh, wholesome. I'm not taking in the consideration uh, for the holidays. Okay. So uh, working hours per day is nine hours. Average employee full cost per year is optional. And uh, I would let it stay there. Okay. I'm not putting in the cost. Uh, task or process frequency. This happens daily. Activity volume average per selected frequency. So daily, we have at least around 20 resumes to be screened. Average processing time for one resume takes around 
15 minutes and total processing time is this much error rate is 20 percent as of now okay average rework is 10 percent so uh, 10 minutes sorry uh, percentage of total volume so that's fine uh, average time yes 10 minutes is required if there is any error that we need to fix it so total work rework time is 176 per hours per year that's fantastic calculation average work to be reviewed or audited is around 30 percent okay average review or audit time takes maximum 15 minutes per transaction end to end okay number of employees performing this task are um, without a team leader then it will be 10 it is required and 8 as is will be calculated okay process peaks uh, rare But predictable event okay. yes process peaks rare but predictable events uh, mostly after appraisals or during uh, new project launches average number of steps between 20 to 15 is up right yes Number of ways to complete the process. Uh, is completed the same way every time. Percentage of digital input is. So it's hundred percent digital. Hundred percent, yeah. PDF and data input, yes. Structured digital input is between sixty to eighty percent. I think it is 60 to 80 percent. Perfect. Add application. Oh, it doesn't list our application, so we'll just go ahead with Excel as of now. Okay. And uh, Workday is because it's an HR app also. Okay. Uh, benefits uh, faster turnaround time for operations as well as inform as well as. Uh, no, let's go one. Uh, wonderful recruitment experience for recruits. Okay. Uh, database created for further evaluations and references. And uh, this will improve morale of HR department. Okay, sounds good. Actual benefits. Actual benefits would be uh, recruitment response time. This recruitment response time improve users for recruitment requests and uh, evaluation of recruits fine and uh, Less than five percent error rate. We observe to be to be achieved. Okay. Perfect. Expected challenges and encountered challenges during the ex implementation. Expected challenges. A lot of unstructured data various templates required to be reviewed or 
multiple rows. Okay. Uh, Outlook integration and Outlook and HR web integration encounter challenges data accuracy to be looked at as a prime requirement exceptions to be handled as often they are missed and uh, encounter challenges during implementation and finally uh, varied inputs from the operations team and uh, standard communication practice to be followed the records. Uh, let me just get this word correct because of the limitation. Lessons learned. Lessons learned, Mr. Yes, sir. Knowledge is cool for future reference because this is something which we have learned as a reference, you know, while we are developing it. Yeah, so uh, web login credentials, expiry after 30 days and needs OTP. That's one thing that you need to look at. Uh, okay. Uh, then there is a fuzzy data logic which we might have to uh, you know handle fuzzy logic if observed needs to be reviewed by the process then owner. In the documents, like we are accepting PDFs, or sometimes the document is our words, then we have to convert it into PDF and then we have to go ahead with the process. So, considered if not, if it's used in other formats, convert them to PDFs. Yep, that's it from the development side. Images and video associated workflow. So that's already been done as a task capture. So I don't need to do that. Similar automation, uh, none as of now, because that's my primary one. And I'm going ahead and submitting the assessment. Perfect. We are good with submitting the assessment now. And this is saving your changes. Success, wonderful. Perfect. Now we are at qualification awaiting review. Awaiting review. This is wonderful. Sounds good. Yep. So in this one, we have submitted the detailed assessment. And we have we have completed the third process in Automation Hub, where first of all we created an idea, then we created a process using document using task capture, and then now the third step is we have completed the assessment completely. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time in the next video. Thank you so much, Ripad. Cheers.